Broadcasting live from the Everlight Solar Studios in Madison, this is Kyle Bruston Nortman, KBN, presented by Bud Light on ESPN Wisconsin and WisconsinOnDemand.com. It doesn't get any better than this, and I mean it. On YouTube, at ESPN Milwaukee, at ESPN Madison, you have the opportunity to see our newest teammate at ESPN Wisconsin and Good Karma Brands. It is the Chief Love Officer, Sophie. Kyle, I'm going to start using my dog voice, so you might need to set the whole show up now because there's a... Beautiful looking golden retriever in here. And I don't care about Chris, you, Brad, your feelings. This brings me joy. And this is why Sophie exists in our in our company to bring me joy like this. Yeah, I, I already see how we have been demoted, Brad. Instead of doing uh, the opening the introduction and saying the Packer back of Kyle Wallace, the six-time, six-year NFL punter Brad Nortman. He went straight to the dog. Like this is this is the issue that I have with. I love I love the dog. I love the dog. I'm gonna get to go pet Sophie very soon. But here's the thing, he's not working right now. He's not doing the job he gets paid to do from two until five. Instead, he's playing with the dog. What a good girl, yeah. too. Yeah. Well, we, we've heard a so lot about cute. Ben. We, we've heard a lot about Ben and his love for dogs, right? The stories of Bentley and Bruce. And, you know, we only know what we think Ben is like amongst dogs. Now I can see it with my own eyes, and he turns into a totally different person. He is just, he's become so much softer. That, that heart has grown three sizes bigger than usual. It's something to see. It, it is something to see. Make sure you go to ESPN Milwaukee, ESPN Madison on YouTube. So you can see Ben play with uh, our. You, what is it called? The what is this dog's title? Chief Love Chief, Officer. The Chief Love the CLO. Officer. The Chief Love the Officer Sophie, our newest employee. Oh, of she is CKB just Milwaukee. amazing. Yeah, I hope so. She, She's well trained. You know, and uh, she is and, well and thank you so much. If the Chief Love Officer needs to go give love to people that deserve it, I've gotten my fix. If there's others in the office, no, 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 no. <laughs> Don't do this. Do not let the. Do not let. I will say just there screwed. is nothing. You're screaming yeah, yeah, at a, the dog, Kyle. Got with, she knows she know good people. She uh, would drive in a car with me. You, you, you it, this would be yes, the example of Kyle right yes, now hanging would. with this dog hey, is like Sophie. scared to touch it, scared to get hey, bit. Girl. Hey, girl. Oh, my god. Well, gosh. Sophie looks like a total sweetheart. I mean, when Kyle approached her, oh, yeah. that tail was wagging hard. I mean, that yeah, is how you know scr- Sophie was ready to give Kyle It's a love. young puppy dog. Of course, if you scream, they're going to be excited. Oh my gosh, Kyle! You're giving the dog anxiety. That's why she just turned away and went back to went, went back away. Yeah, Kyle's known for his reactions. He just gave the dog a big reaction. I think I think Sophie was like, "Oh my goodness, this is a lot coming at me right now. A lot of energy." Uh, Sophie, you are cleared to go. I'm so sorry that you had to deal with uh, Kyle Wallace screaming and acting like a clown. She got excited yeah, when she like saw a me. Maniac. Yeah, but she l- got excited when she saw me. The, t- the tail started wagging. The- <laughs> she rolled over onto her belly. She that's excitement. That's See, excitement. I didn't she didn't need to I didn't need to try to have her lick my face for her to like me, unlike you. That's not what I needed to do. That's she exactly did that willingly. No, no, that's what you You, you put, did, Ben, you did. Wait, you you did stick your face right in Sophie's face. Give me a little kissy. I mean, you got right in for kisses. Give me a little kissy kissy. You are so needy. <laughs> you just just ask for it. Uh, do you want to be on the air or something, Mr. Mr. Rotman? I don't think my mic is my mic up. It's up. Uh, no, I just okay. hope everyone can go to Kyle Brust and Norman KBN ESPN on Twitter, where they will get a wonderful picture if they did not happen to catch this live on the air. Oh my god! That gosh. is. Why did you? Uh, you don't know where that. Do you know how much happy I, the next the next three hours of Kyle Brust and Norman are going to be the most positive and amazing thing in the entire world because we have a chief love officer, Chris, back there running the show. Was like, oh, I'm so glad I'm back here. Yeah, thank goodness I'm back here. I don't have to deal with that. <laughs> deal with that? <laughs> deal with love? You don't want to deal with love? No, I, 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 you know, Chris, that's a, that's a smart thing. I, I did it because, you know, 
You had... did it because you do a show with the owner of the company. The only reason why you went over to the dog I is to, is to suck up to the dog. No, if we have a dog, listen, just like the dog is an employee. Your voice inflected up, Kyle. Well, well, here, here, well yeah, you know, you got to do that to new people and new dogs. Here's the thing. When you have a new employee, what we call teammates, any new teammate we get here at GKB Milwaukee, there is a point in time where I introduce myself, I say hello, I say who I am, and I move on. Sophie is a new teammate of ours, and just like any other human teammate that we have, you, I did it to the dog. When as I well. started working here, you didn't go. I, oh, hey, Ben, how ben, are you? Ben, when you moved yeah, no to no belly rubs for Ben. <laughs> well, <laughs> Ben didn't roll over for the belly rub. He didn't. If he did, I would have gave him a little scratch. But I, everybody, I wanted to everybody ingratiated into our company that we have here. Yeah, I'm glad Brad's you're going to respond to to give uh, the dog pink eye. Yeah, that's true. I'm still home, still with Pink Eye. But you know what, Ben? If you would have had Pink Eye right there, I think you would have passed it on to Sophie because that's how close your face got to hers. Yeah. That is inside like the, the So are you guys anti-dog kissing the face? The dog literally licked itself before it licked your face. Oh, well. Oh, I, I like dog kisses oh, from dogs I gosh. really know. I mean, a dog I don't know that well, I'm a little bit more cautious. I honestly have no idea where that mouth has been. What I do know is that dog went through 18 months of training. So that, like, that, that was a clean, golden retriever puppy who just wanted to give love. I didn't want to overwhelm her like Kyle running over like, hi, dog. Somebody sounds a little bit jealous that the dog no. like me more than like you. No, that's not the case. The dog sat you there like, get this man out of my face, please. Then he moved. <laughs> literally. Literally. Then you put your face. Oh, she's like, oh, lick. Move. Move. The dog felt Kyle's good energy. Thank you. I didn't want yeah. to spook the new puppy. Thank you. The dog went through training. You're not supposed to you're attack it. You're giving bad passenger energy right now. <laughs> oh, is this in reference to me being the worst road trip passenger? Mm -hmm. Are you taking another shot there? Yeah, the dog said it too. 800-990-3776. Do you wish you had an office dog? Because Kyle wishes we we didn't. Uh, Brad wishes we didn't. Chris wishes we didn't. Now Kyle's trying to make himself to be a good guy right now because he unwillingly went over to the dog. Um I feel love. I feel special. Kyle feels, if I was Kyle, I'd feel dirty because I basically just did that to be a suck up to the company. No, I didn't do it to be a suck up to the company. You did. Had... You literally said, I just want to make new teammates feel good. I do want to make you new You drink in the company Kool-Aid. No, it's good. Listen, if somebody is going to work here, somebody's going to be around our office space for eight hours, have the highs and lows of a work life. I want them to know when they see me, I mean business, but also I am approachable and I am a nice person and I care about you as a human being and as a dog. I care about people people i yeah. do and it just doesn't mean you don't you don't like them at all too you, you, you introduce yourself to them and be friendly with them but it doesn't mean in the grand scheme of things you actually like them or not yeah yeah chris chris is you right. don't like everybody you work with I, yeah you know I, <laughs> I, I, uh, don't people. put them on the spot like that chris. Uh, people i will say this that most people around here i'm fine with most who, who well, are you I'll, not? I don't know who yeah. I'm not. Uh -huh. It depends on the day it depends on how fast somebody responds to my email and you got a, you got a list of people on the i don't like list no, I no, I Ooh. don't. I'm trying to think. Nope, I don't. I do not. Yeah, you do. No, not currently. No, it, it, some there are some people where you know, depending on the day when I need something, based off a response, I may be a little bit more uh, disappointed with them. But dislike, I don't dislike anybody around here because I'm gonna get what I need from you. Well, I love the office dog. Kyle doesn't. Brad doesn't. Chris doesn't. And uh, that just shows their true character. Um, and I think that I think that's the important thing that we well, learned in the first eight minutes of the show. I don't know if I would go as far as I don't want it. It just it strikes me as strange. It's I wonder, all, it's all like, you need to hear, though, Brad. Like you're is, not is, all in. Like, but think about it. I mean, this is we're making a decision on a company wide level. Was was this the thing that we decided in the office was the most important next step? for our company. He's like, you know what? We just need an office dog and we're going to find any way to make it happen. It just seems like a, seems like an interesting choice. That's all. I mean, that's what, that's what they decided. I'm all for it. I'm a dog guy. No, no, you're not. Because, because again, I am. I, I, I've, I've done the research. Uh, Los Angeles County Animal Care.gov seems pretty legit to me. It's a .gov. Uh, having pets in an office can boost productivity. Short breaks for petting and playing with animals can be in, uh, big in improving focus and prevent burnout. Additionally, the presence of mm. pests has been linked to enhanced creativity. So I'm about to have the most creative show of my entire life now. You know what can boost all that for me? What's that? Paying me what they paying that dog. So, so this is about money. Are Brad. they paying the it dog all, in treats? It all comes back to money yeah. for Brad and Kyle. How can they get a little more change in their pockets? <laughs> and not accepting the love yeah. from the chief love officer. I mean, what do you think the chief love officer gets paid? How much do you think the chief love officer gets paid? In uh, bones. 
In, in bones, that, that two dollars a day of bones. Unlimited supply. Yeah, that that dog. That, when that, that dog wants to eat. That dog eats. Yeah, that dog. That, that yeah. dog will be treated well. Uh, Josh DiMaggio hits it on the head, uh, dropping down uh, his his board of people that he enjoys working with is Brad and Kyle. Huge character flaws being dog haters. And Watch again, the video. It's not dog, dog hater. Dog. That's too it, strong. It, it's not about the video. It's literally about how you are talking right now. You literally said, I want to ingratiate myself with teammates, this new dog. You literally did that because you wanted to suck up to the owner of the dog, which happens to be the CEO of this company. And you have to talk to him on Sundays during Sunday Karma. And if you didn't say hi to the dog, which I know you didn't want to deep down inside, he would have called you out and you didn't want to deal with it. So I solved that problem. I was going to introduce myself to the dog once. Now, it doesn't mean every time the dog comes around, I'm going to say hello to the dog. I'll tell Craig to his face I, I i don't care for the dog i don't i'll be honest i don't care that we have the dog here i i this is not boosting morale for me it's not making me more productive actually i think from around our office it probably decreased productivity ezra uh, in the 262 this is sad you you've you've lost us a listener kyle kyle hates the packers and puppies uh, i'm now done with this show <laughs> Ezra, did not. Oh, wow. Ezra, really? This is what we doing? I mean, you, Ezra, your Ezra, Ezra, your prod. <laughs> now you're mocking him. No, no, I, you don't know. You're, you didn't know. Ezra your prod. No, I know it's Ezra. I know it's it, Ezra in Port Washington. Well, He's if, been a long time well, texture well, and caller. Well, if Ezra in Port Washington gonna make claims about me that are false, and I'm gonna call him Ezra. Gary chimes in. Ben is the only person apparently who knows how to act around and treat dogs. They are just meeting. It's the first time you meet. You don't just scream at them. Uh, sad day for the guys aside from Ben. Appreciate that. Brad Nortman, first day back in the office. Nope, he's still stuck with Pink Eye. You can see him with his little stamp on YouTube, at ESPN Madison, at ESPN Milwaukee, and his sunglasses. Um, Adam chimes in. Can't trust anyone who questions why there's a dog even around. Can only trust Ben in that office. No questions asked. See dog, pet dog. There it is. Not just doing it out of uh, the 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 trying to climb the corporate ladder like Kyle is. Yeah, the dog loved me. She uh, loved me. Now again, she, even the handler said she said, "Oh, that was that was wonderful to see." Yeah, as we're chimes in, that was rude, Kyla. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I do want to hear from Rob Domovsky before we move uh, as we move on from uh, the chief love officer of Good Karma Brands, ESPN Wisconsin. Um, Rob Domofsky of ESPN. Uh, where was this, Chris? Just so I get my uh, ducks no, in a row. Tausch today. That's what I thought. Will the Tausch, 9 to noon across these very stations, had this to say about d uh, Well, it's 1042 on Friday. Uh, I do believe in the f- Friday afternoon news dump. I believe that's still a thing, uh, even though with the Internet it shouldn't be a thing because it's a 24-hour news cycle. But, you know, back in the day when the- they would send the mm-hmm. press releases out at 5.01 p.m. on Friday and then go home for the weekend, I do believe that, that, that uh, there are a couple of things that will happen between now and Monday. Uh, David Bakhtiari uh, is almost certainly going to be released unless there is some just drastic pay cut where he agrees to – Basically, pay for the minimum, or play for the minimum. That was Rob Domofsky earlier today on Willie and Tausch, 9 to noon across these very stations. 800 990 3776. 800 990 ESPN. We are Kyle Bruston Nortman. And, you know, what I want to know is we've, we've had conversations about D Bach. Uh, Brad Nortman took us through his NFL experience of what it was like having Steve Smith around the team when he was going to get released, you know, when the league year started. You hear uh, Rob Domofsky talk about that. And when we were talking about d I wouldn't say earlier in the week or last week, I can't remember the days anymore with the the six-week-old. I'm still still getting out of the blur. But my point is there was a lot of anger. There was a lot of this is a horrible contract. He owes us. Like, people were upset with the production of of, uh, David Bakhtiari from – what he did for the Packers since injuring his knee a month after signing that big contract. So I, I really do want to know um, when, because I'm, I'm going to just put it out there, when d gets cut and signs with the Jets, because we all know Green Bay East is out there, would you be upset if he played well for the Jets? Because I'm not going to lie, it would suck. It would suck to watch d play after being injured as long as he was during his big contract with the Packers and then go help out an old buddy who's coming off of injury as well, actually protecting him. So I'm curious, 800-990-3776, if d plays well for the Jets next year, would you be upset? We'll hit on that and a whole lot more on Kyle Bruss-Nortman when we come back.
You're listening to Kyle Brust and Nortman, KBN. But what I've heard is very nutritious. I was actually about to I'm ask. Very this nutritious. is the last conversation on it. Did you taste it? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, come on, did you taste it? You got to. You got to make sure that it's good and like good for your baby. Yeah. I know Jonathan Brust has. I have not yet. Okay. I definitely am. Are you, you might as well take a little shot. <laughs> on ESPN Wisconsin and WisconsinOnDemand.com. Hey, it's Hunter Vaughn. ESPN Madison and Zimbra Honda are celebrating the area's best high school sports stories with the Game Changers of the Month. Follow ESPN Madison on social media to see teams making an impact in their community. Nominate your local team today at ESPNMadisonGameChangers.com. Protect your dream home with American Family Insurance. And you can weather any storm. You'll also save up to 25% by bundling home, auto, and life. American Family Insurance. Get a quote. Find an agent at AmFam.com. Products not available in every state. Discounts may not apply to all coverages on an auto or home policy. Discounts do not apply to life insurance policies. Visit AmFam.com to learn how discounts may apply to you. American Family Mutual Insurance Company, S.I. and its operating companies, American Family Life Insurance Company, 6000 American Parkway, Madison, Wisconsin. Hey, hungry? And your heart is ticking for chicken? Well, take a quick turn and a quick trip. Because we got no ordinary chicken. Yeah, go wild with wings. Next level super wings. With trusty sidekick and sauces. Or let's talk tender. Quick chick tenders. Love me tenders. Mm, love me some quick tenders. Ours are bigger, better, tastier. Or if you're feeling good old school comfort fried chicken. We got it. Hand breaded down homier than anywhere. Quick trip. Saving your nuggets from ordinary. Panic strikes as you realize on Wednesday that Thursday is your anniversary. The reservations being secured. We'll see you at 8. The gift being purchased. Yeah, you've got this. Just like Associated Banks got you with early pay up to two days early on direct deposits. So even though they call you last minute Lisa, we'll make your last minute scrambling a bit easier. You've got this with early pay from Associated Bank. See associatedbank.com slash checking or ask a banker for details. Member FDIC. Mark Tosha here for Chalmers Jewelers. I've been a big fan of Scott and Garrett and the whole team at Chalmers Jewelers for years now. I go there, my friends go there, and most importantly, my wife loves it whenever I get her something from Chalmers Jewelers. But what's right around the corner? Mother's Day. Show some love to the incredible women in your life and stop at Chalmers Jewelers. The place to go for that perfect gift. I recommend Chalmers Jewelers in Middleton and Madison. Chalmers Jewelers in Middleton and Madison. Get the beat of the Bucks straight from a fan favorite and Bucks legend. Tap into Here District with Marcus Johnson, a Bucks Plus audio production. Your weekly pulse on the Milwaukee Bucks and conversations with the biggest names in basketball. This week, Marcus and his son Chris are joined by Bucks beat writer for The Athletic, Eric Name. That I'm just talking about putting Dame in the spots that he likes to be on the floor and he's more comfortable. In. Find Here District now on Bucks.com slash plus, the Bucks app, or wherever you get your podcast. I love playing sports, especially for my school. And that's because school sports are special. It's where it's safe to fail. It's where we're taught resilience, where our fear becomes confidence. It's where we learn to get back up after every fall. School sports are where 7.8 million students go from I can't to I can. This message presented by the WIAA and the Wisconsin Athletic Directors Association. Life's better with American Family Insurance because our home policies help protect your dreams and come with peace of mind. Save up to 25% by bundling home, auto, and life. American Family Insurance. Get a quote, find an agent at amfam.com. Products not available in every state. Discounts may not apply to all coverages on an auto or home policy. Discounts do not apply to life insurance policies. Visit AmFam.com to learn how discounts may apply to you. American Family Mutual Insurance Company, S.I. and its operating companies, American Family Life Insurance Company, 6000 American Parkway, Madison, Wisconsin. Hey, it's Hunter Vaughn. ESPN Madison and Zimbra Honda are celebrating the area's best high school sports stories with the Game Changers of the Month. Follow ESPN Madison on social media to see teams making an impact in their community. Nominate your local team today at ESPNMadisonGameChangers.com. This is Kyle, Brust, and Nortman, sponsored by Bud Light on ESPN Wisconsin and Wisconsin On Demand. You're listening to 100.5 ESPN, the ESPN app, and Wisconsin On Demand. Uh, well, it's 10.42 on Friday. Uh, I do believe in the Friday afternoon news dump. I believe that's still a thing. 
uh, even though with the internet it shouldn't be a thing because it's a 24-hour news cycle. But, you know, back in the day when they would send the mm-hmm. press releases out at 5.01 p.m. on Friday and then go home for the weekend, I do believe that, that, that uh, there are a couple things that will happen between now and Monday. Uh, David Bakhtiari uh, is almost certainly going to be released unless there is some just drastic pay cut where he agrees to basically pay for the minimum or play for the minimum. <laughs> That was Rob Domofsky earlier on Wilde and Tausch giving his thoughts on David Bakhtiari. We are Kyle Brustin Ortman across ESPN Wisconsin. Had a great visit from our chief love officer, our newest teammate here at ESPN Wisconsin, Sophie the dog. She's amazing, very sweet. Kyle Wallace here in studio with a uh, swagalicious sweatshirt. I'll even give you that. Um, Brad Nortman still with Pink Eye at home and Chris Larson running the show. 800-990-3776 as we already have some responses coming in on the ESPN Wisconsin talk and text line. Because it is intriguing to me. If d gets cut, which I presume he will, um, and goes to the Jets and then plays well, would you be upset? And, like, my answer would be yes. Like, I would be upset. Not mad, but upset. Because I'd be like, gosh, like, how the heck did this all happen? Why did it have to happen where we had an all-pro left tackle sign what was at the time, I believe, the largest uh, pay, the, the highest paid left tackle when he was extended to tearing an ACL having a, a second surgery, trying to come back for the 2021 divisional round game against the Niners, um, hurt again the 2020 game against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Like That's when you need your all-pro left tackle most in those type of games, and the cards didn't fall that way. But I'd be, I'd be lying if I said if he was playing well for the Jets and protecting Aaron Rodgers, that it wouldn't bother me a little bit. I'd be upset. Yeah, I'm in that same camp. I, I would be a little upset too, not necessarily at David Bakhtiari, but I would just look at the last four years and just say, how did the Packers not get him to the point of health? Because if he's going to go to the Jets and he's going to play well and it's going to be to the point where it's like we all notice, well, clearly he's playing a lot of games. And if he's going to end up playing 15, 16, 17 games for the Jets and we squeezed I don't know, I mean, what, like 15 games out of him total the last four years? I feel like I will, need, I will feel the need to blame somebody. How is it possible that even with a bad knee injury, we couldn't get him healthy on the field? And, and even 2023, that would have been more than 18 months of a surgery. So to me, it's not necessarily David Bakhtiari's fault because the man was injured. But I just look at it and say, man, somebody made a mistake along the way. I don't know if it was the Packers you know, sports medicine, strength and conditioning, bad decision-making, forcing him back Bringing too Bringing him back too early, we, yeah. I mean, yep, like, exactly. the biggest thing that you said too, Brad, is like if he does play with the Jets, right, this would essentially be on turf, which was a big issue uh, yes. with, the, with the Jets having turf. And it was a big issue here with the Green Bay Packers. And I'll send it to the Packer backer, Kyle Wallace, who – was upset with Debach not being on the same tune as the team this year, but I want to know where you stand on this situation. So here's the thing I'm going to let y'all know. Okay, let me just be a, a life coach for you. Both, yeah, I was right? going to say, you're, you're, uh, I, don't, I don't like your tone well, already. A, a He's coming in kind of condescending. Coming, very no, condescending. No, I'm not coming in condescending. Yeah, Brad, like, very no, 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 condescending. No, what do, you, what do you mean? I'm just saying. I just wanna, Like, I'm above you. No, let me not, tell you I'm how not, life yes. works. No, let me, let me just tell y'all. Here, listen, listen. Let go and let love. That's the first thing. That's what I'll start with this. I once, and as you just said, I once was very upset, very disappointed in the lack of production, health, playing of our starting left tackle of David Bakhtiari. I, there was a time where I was really upset about that, fellas. But here's the thing. You know what made my mind change and what cured this whole animosity towards I don't D-Bot? know, but get to it. Winning, Here we go. Winning it cures all. Listen, we were able to find out that we are okay. We can survive. We can move forward. We can move on without d Because when she Walker came in and played well at left tackle, that helps me move on. The fact that the Packers team this year was better off this year than what they were last year. The fact that this Packers team was able to make it to win a playoff game this year without having David Bakhtiari. Why would I give a dang how well he played? 
say once he left, it's different if we were in a bad situation and we didn't have a left tackle, and then we cut him, and then he goes to the Jets and he shines and looks like the David Bakhtiari of old. But, fellas, we've already replaced him. We can move on. We proved that we can win football games with love. So let go and let love. It starts with love. Pow! Um couple things. Thank you, Chris. Um, I really didn't like how you started condescending with this listen, <laughs> listen, and then you just started screaming at me and Brad. Um, yeah. Feeling a little attacked right now. It's oh, the second day, second day in a row. Clearly. Clearly. <laughs> um, and I just think it's a little bit uh, disingenuous. Uh, and I don't like the fact that you just think I think Rasheed Walker obviously made strides, but yeah. he was a seventh round draft pick, right? Like he, he was a seventh-round draft pick. We're talking about an all-pro that got a contract to be paid as a the hot draft pick. They got all but it's not contract. about it's not about fourth or, or, or not. We had evidence as to who David Bakhtiari was. If you want to go off of one season, a true season of Rasheed Walker, and just mark like, like, like you do, everything, w was. everything's great in Kyle's world, green and gold goggles on, he's going to be the best left tackle in the world, then fine. But it's it's unfair for you to put Rasheed Walker in like the, oh, he'll just replace him. No, it's, it's, listen, Brad. They Brad, won games with love. Yeah. I get that. Brad, in that game against the San Francisco's vaunted defense, we were concerned about Chase Young. We were concerned about Nick No one Bunker. was concerned about Chase Young. Okay. Did we look at that game and say, boy, oh, boy, that offensive line isn't giving Jordan Love any time? He's running for his life back there. Do we have any concerns like that? Listen, the offensive line played really well. They protected Jordan Love really well. I got to give Goody credit for that. And you're right, Rasheed Walker, Zach Tom, those guys did really well. They're playing on cheap contracts. But Kyle, you're a style guy, so let me put this in your terms, Thank right? You. Let's say you go. Guys. Let's say you. Let's say you go out and you buy a thousand dollar suit, right? And it looks no great on you. And you're ex <laughs> you're <laughs> excited to wear it, right? <laughs> But you, you, you fast forward My four years. My man's driving to Wally World the other day. He didn't know a $1,000 suit. <laughs> you, 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 you spent $1,000 on a suit, and you've had it for four years, and you've never got the opportunity to wear it. And by the time you're ready to put it on, it doesn't fit anymore. But on the, simultaneously, you buy like a, you know, a, a $40 T-shirt, and you wear it, and you get a bunch of compliments. Wouldn't you still look at the suit? and say, man, I don't know, all that money, and I never even got any use out of it. And then someone else goes and wears the suit, and they look amazing. Wouldn't you say, you know what, there's a part of you where it's like, I just didn't get my $1,000 worth. Here's the thing. If I wore the suit, if I had the suit, and it didn't, I couldn't wear it. It didn't work right. But then I bought a suit, and let's be honest, let's buy, I just bought a suit for $80. Say I bought a suit. It, <laughs> oh, wow. It was a $400 suit now. It was a $400 Ain't suit. Ain't no $400 suit oh, going for $80 yeah, unless it was, it was from 2015. It's Calvin Klein. <laughs> it was like that. All right, I can show it to you. I look good. I look good. And so cool. we're on Monday. We'll be the judge. I, I'll show you. <laughs> and so here's the thing. If I am able to make people give me compliments, not make, but people give me compliments. I'm able to find my beautiful girl that I have now and because she likes the suit I have on that costs less money, then I'm going to be okay with the fact that I wasted my money on that $1,000 suit. I would be okay with it now. I'd be upset about the money, but I had to move on because what I did is I learned. I learned I don't need to spend $1,000 in order to look good. The Packers realized we don't need to spend... Forty, or I think it was sixty million dollars at the time. Sixty plus million dollars in order to be a great football team. No, you can trust the process, and you can find somebody in the seventh round to not be as good as David Bakhtiari, but you can find somebody in the seventh round to be able to be serviceable and start for a football team that won football games. That's what we learned. Again, I just, I just I, go ahead, Brad. Yeah, I think we're, I just, we're I just, I just the same still, way here. Yeah, I just still think you look back and say, "Man, that money is wasted." Even if we did replace David Bakhtiari, which the Green Bay Packers did, you could still look at that money and say, "Man, it would just been great to have it allocated in a different way." Yeah. I, I mean, you know, somebody's at fault. I don't know who it is. I don't think. I think it's like partially David Bakhtiari, partially the Packers. Just the whole circumstance. It's super unfortunate, and yeah, I will feel a little bit like a little bit jealous. I'm not gonna lie. If David Bakhtiari goes there and plays well and is healthy, because you think what could have been, what could have been with that money? Hey, eight hundred nine nine. What will, nine, what will oh, be? What will be? That's what we need to focus on. Is what will be. Rasheed Walker, All Pro left tackle. Hey, that'd be great. If not, we'll draft somebody else. <laughs> 800-990-3776. Chef Ed says his gut feeling is D-Bach won't start another game in the NFL. Um, I mean, to be honest, he's going to have to pass some 
some physicals, and he's had a lot of issues. I mean, that's that's not out of the realm. Uh, one of our uh, many delusional Bear fans, Ryan, chimes in. I'm hoping that David wants to stick it to Green Bay and sign with the Bears. I don't think he's got that much animosity towards Green Bay, if you ask me. Um, Ray in the 414, it's not about him playing well, because every time he steps on the field, he plays well. His biggest obstacle is getting on the field. I'd be more upset if he plays and shows little to no sign of injury issues. And again... That's that's the type of thing that is possible. Um, Rory in the 920, yes, I would. All that money spent with nothing to show. And then to see it happen somewhere else, imagine the type of players we could have signed as well. 800-990-3776. 800-990-ESPN. Man, if I had a bet on it, I kind of like where Chef Ed's head is at. I mean, with all the injuries he's had with all that money. No, that man's going to bounce back. I'm telling you. Oh, uh, right here now. we go. Now, now, now no, you're predicting the future. No, hey, yeah, Brad, we got to listen now. What yep. will be? We got to listen. What will to, be? To nonsense. Uh, one thing that we should know about d is d is going to do everything he can in order to get back on the field. Now, I'm not saying bounce back to all pro level, but he will play another down in the NFL. He will be back. Just not with us, and that's okay. Got to tell you about my great friends at Potawatomi Casino Hotel. Especially when you think about the grand opening that's happening in May. Mark your freaking calendars, I'm telling you. I love my action at Pato. Gonna have Ben's same game parlay later. Love jetting over there, getting the ticket. I, I do it all on my computer. You can go to the PaysBig.com website, put together bets, scan the QR code, boom, you're out of there. But Potawatomi is also a place where they are going to have a state-of-the-art new grand opening in May with 2,000-square-foot video wall, luxury seating for over 200, an expanded food menu. Maybe we'll be broadcasting there a couple times as well. Seriously, it's going to be huge. Next level, you name it, insert adjective, it will be that. Don't miss the grand opening the first week of May. Mark your calendars, bet big, bet bold. Potawatomi Casino Hotel. 800-990-3776. I'll take your calls, take your texts. Plus, we'll get the KBN Academy coming up next. This is Kyle Bruston Nortman. I was like, it's the 414 (laughs) hour at 4. I'm not going to lie. I feel like the kid who, like, got picked on the sports team. I was like, oh, you want me? No way. Because all last week, I like, I, it was so much fun to do that. And I was like, well, but I guess it's back to Kyle doing it now. Well, don't and get... when you said, want to do it with me? I was like, oh, yeah, let's do it. On ESPN Wisconsin and WisconsinOnDemand.com. Simbrick Chevrolet. When was the last time you had your oil changed? Or your tires rotated? Do you need new tires, a battery, perhaps some windshield wipers? Zimbrick Chevrolet Service Center is equipped to help you with routine maintenance, major repairs, and everything in between. Get your free battery inspection coupon and schedule an appointment today at ZimbrickChevrolet.com. Don't overpay. Shop Zimbrick Chevrolet on Main Street in Sun Prairie. Main Street, Sun Prairie, Zimbrick Chevrolet. You're probably being overwhelmed with information about semi-glutide, the game-changing FDA-approved weight loss treatment. Jim Rutledge here. I was like you. I didn't know what it was until I saw Dr. Nessa Rodriguez at Carbon World Health. He can walk you through the benefits. He can tell you if it's right for you, and then you could come up with a plan to change your life with a workout plan and semi-glutide. With that plan, I dropped 20% body fat to 10% body fat, and I dropped over 20 pounds of fat and kept my muscle. You can do the same thing. Go see Dr. Nessa Rodriguez at Carbon World Health. In the next 30 seconds, I'm going to tell you how to save money and save the planet. It's simple. Ditch your energy bill and make the switch over to Everlight Solar. While electricity prices keep rising, Everlight Solar will give you the chance to take ownership of your power while also reducing your carbon footprint. As a local company based out of Madison, they'll be there with you every step of the way as you make the switch to solar. To learn more about how you can save money and save the planet, go to everlightsolar.com. Greg Scalzo here for Buck and Honeys. Congratulations to the perennial Best of Madison Award winner by the folks at Madison Magazine. Meet me at Buck and Honeys to celebrate Wisconsin hospitality. Whether you're enjoying the view on the Yahara River in Monona, exploring Wanakee, visiting the OG in Sun Prairie, or checking out the new location in Mount Horeb, you can enjoy the Buck and Honeys experience in a neighborhood near you. Serving lunch and dinner seven days a week with brunch every Saturday and Sunday, I'll see you at Buck and Honeys. 
It's time for the Milwaukee Basketball Report on 100.5 ESPN. Brought to you by Bud Light. Lillard's going to tee up a three, and he splashes it through for the left wing. The choice to enjoy is easy. Easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Bucks West Coast Swing starts with the end of a winning streak as Steph Curry and the Warriors shoot the lights out in a 125-90 thrashing of the Bucks. Curry working on the defensive Crowder tees up another three. Splash Brothers now 5 of 7 from 3-point range here tonight. After a 20-point halftime deficit, the Bucs did get within 6 points early on in the third quarter, but it was all Warriors from then on out. I, I, this is the first night in a long time where we just didn't play together, didn't move the ball, we forced actions. The Bucks' four-game road trip continues next on Friday night as they take on the Lakers in Los Angeles. That one, a 9 o'clock tip. This has been your Milwaukee Basketball Report on Madison's home for Bucks basketball. 100.5 ESPN, brought to you by Bud Light. Prize Picks is America's number one fantasy sports app with over 3 million active members. They are the easiest and most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. All you do, pick more or less on a two to six player stat projection and watch the winnings roll in. Whether it's tournament season or the fight for playoff home court, there's no shortage of high stakes basketball moments this time of year. Prize Picks even offers injury insurance so that your entries stay in play even if one of your players gets hurt. For basketball games, if you have a player who exits the game in the first half and does not return in the second, prize picks will have your back and not count that as a loss. Prize picks is really simple to play. I can make my picks and submit my entry in less than 60 seconds. Prize picks also offers weekly promotions and special offers for the biggest moments in sports. Download the app today and use code WI for a first deposit match up to a hundred bucks. That's code WI on Prize Picks for a deposit match up to a hundred bucks. Pick more, pick less. It's that easy. You're listening to Kyle Brust and Nortman on ESPN Wisconsin and WisconsinOnDemand.com. You're listening to 100.5 ESPN, the ESPN app, and Wisconsin On Demand. I'm living my best life. Kyle, you only have control of the music in the 414 hour. Not true. Chris! Why do we, why do you just let him do what he wants? Hey, he doesn't do it for every single song. I don't. I know, but he's just obnoxious when he picks a song. What do you mean? I wasn't even dancing yet. Yeah, you were. I was about to. 800-990-3776. You guys can all put input on what kind of music you want to come back to. Thank you. Don't blame me because y'all don't take the time to actually tell them. Chris sounding like a parent trying to get kids to behave themselves. I went for Brandon to come up with some songs to come back to. Yeah, I actually want to hear what Br- – you know what, Brad, your job uh, with Pink Eye over there in Oconomowoc is uh, to yep. have the next Bump Back song, and it better be a banger that everybody loves because Kyle is very specific with his music. I feel a little uh, offended by that. I, I, Chris, I got you. I'm a, I'm a, I'll, I'll make sure that I diversify for uh, Oh, you feel offended. You took me out yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Stu and Wanakee, 800-990-3776. Obviously, uh, we are having a discussion around David Bakhtiari because uh, it was a big contract, and it sucks he didn't play. But would you be upset if he went to the Jets and played well? Yes. And the, and the reason being, and I think this is going to be a very unpopular comment, <laughs> but I think what he does is he drums up um, all the denial and the people that don't want to remember the tackle that we drafted, who we got zero value out of, Uh-oh. and everyone thought he was going to be great, so... Bacciari is Tony Madridge 2.0. Oh, oh what? wow. What? No. Wow. wow. Oh, yeah. Let him, let him that speak. Was spicy. Let, let, now, let's let him Study. speak now because okay. I, right. I want to see what he yeah. has to say. He said he, he gave us the climax. Now give us give us the example, the detail. Well, um, I remember when Mandridge was drafted, everyone said, this guy is a world beater. And they looked at this tape of him in the Big Ten at Michigan State just mauling people. And then we get him on the field, and we find out the guy is a fake. And, he's, and he took steroids, and he wasn't as good as everyone thought. And then to make matters worse, 
you were just talking about um, opportunity lost. We could have had Barry Sanders or any number of other people, but no, we tied up this all our money in this guy that never gave us any value. Yeah, uh, the expect- the expectations hey, for- I appreciate the call, Stu. The expectations were there for Manders because he was a first-round pick. David Bakhtiari is a fourth-round pick. Yeah. And there were no expectations. I was going to say, um, not apples to apples in terms of comparison. Um, never good when Ron the Key chimes in and says historically bad take because he has the other nine of the top ten historically bad takes. Well, I was going to say, Derek Sherrod, who was an offensive lineman that broke his leg uh, in his, I think his rookie year, He's probably a better comparison exactly. to, to Tony Mandridge, not not David Bakhtiari, and all pro. All pro, like, you know, yeah. that was terrible. D-Bach was really D-Bach good. can play. Yeah. Mandridge couldn't play. D-Bach could play. It's just yeah. unfortunate. I, I just think he's scarred by the idea of the money and the opportunity potentially being wasted on the asset standpoint, right? Like, D, for D-Bach, it was the money that was spent in the production on the field. For Mandridge, it was, he was – picked over somebody that he thinks they should have got that would have made a bigger impact, that's football. Players underperform their contracts all the time. And this isn't even a player underperforming his contract. This is a player unfortunately getting injured. There's a difference between that. So, again, we should be disappointed in Debach, But don't be mad at Debach. He can't control that he tore his ACL in practice. He can't control that his knee never got to back to where it was. If you think for one second he wasn't fighting to try to get back on the field and be healthy and play with his boy Aaron Rodgers, you are crazy. Let's go to the KBN well, Academy. In radio, our goal is pretty simple. Uh, just so you know, you really suck. Have an A show or an F show. Hey, I'll decide who sucks around here. The same goes for topics in this next segment. This is the KBN Academy. Those that can't do, teach. It is the KBN Academy. Professor Brust, Nortman, and Wallace here to answer some questions. Chris Larson's going to give us a question. we got to give an A or an F. There's no B's, C's, or D's, or anywhere else in between. Take it away, Chris. All right, guys, let's kick off the KBN Academy with this. For the full, uh, for the month of March, a Massachusetts library is offering library goers who have racked up fees for lost or damaged items can eliminate their outstanding balance by bringing in cat photos as payment. That's right, cat photos. The library will accept a photo or even a drawing of a pet cat a friend's cat, a famous cat, a shelter cat, or literally any furry friend. A or F, you've been to a library in the last month. Uh, a lot of uh, comments right now. I do wow. think we should uh, get uh, this up on Twitter. Alex Drove chimes in, uh, YouTube chiming in, text line chiming in. Let's put on the poll on Twitter at KBN ESPN. We had a caller say that David Bakhtiari is Tony Mandrich 2.0. Is this the worst take that you've ever heard? Yes or no? Fair? I mean, yes. It's, 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 it's up there. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a fair question Let's to see ask. if we can get to 90%. Uh, the answer, Chris, is um, F. But I have a feeling I live close to a library. And I got a little girl. Nice library. I think I'm going to be going to the library soon. For the first time since 1996. Oh, wow. I mean, wow. I didn't go to the library in oh, high school. Wow. I didn't go to the library in middle school. I went to elementary you school. You went to your school library in high school? Does that count? Yeah, that counts. The library. Yeah, but like, yeah. I would go there to like meet for group projects and do enough to help. And, and then you, you use the library. So, so you think the college library that you have at UW Madison, not sure if you use it at all, that's not a real library? <laughs> There's a lot of different ones, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I guess. I, I well, here's the thing. 96. There's books to check out. If I've been, to, I haven't been to the library since college, but I guess I haven't utilized a library for what it's for, other than to like get work done. Like I wasn't like going to like the library. Oh, I gotta read this book to further my essay. It, yeah, I, I mean, for me with this one, I haven't. This is, I guess, it's technically an A. Like, I haven't been to a physical library in a long, long time. But like, with your, with a library card, <laughs> you can sign up for like apps that have podcasts, audiobooks, things like that. And I do do that. I listen to audiobooks all the time with a library card. So that's kind of a sneaky little trick for those out there who want free audiobooks. Yeah. So, so I guess it's technically an A. So yeah, I don't. Uh, 
I have no purpose to go to a library because I don't read books. You know, uh, I actually got a book uh, that somebody else had, and I brought it on the plane when I traveled. And you think I cracked it open? Mm-mm, mm-mm. So uh, I have no purpose to go to a library. Uh, thanks, Chris. I mean, it, it is what it is. I just don't read books. So I'm glad we have libraries. I'm glad they're a public asset. I just don't utilize it. So uh, this is free tax dollars I'm throwing away. Oh, I'm already disappointed. The polls just posted like 10 seconds ago, and it's already 50-50 with four votes. We had a caller say the Packers left tackle David Bakhtiari's Tony Mandris 2.0. Is this the worst take ever? 50-50 right now. Chris, what we got next for KBN Academy? Right, moving on to KBN Academy, a sleep medicine physician at The Ohio State University says that if someone is having issues with poor sleep, the TV could be the culprit. Watching TV can delay going to bed, and those with insomnia could associate their bed with watching TV rather than sleeping. ARF, you always fall asleep with the TV app. Um... I'm an F here, but it's getting, like, I used to never fall asleep with the TV on, but I'm starting to fall asleep with the TV on. So the question is, you always do? No. What I, what I do, I, I refuse to watch TV in bed. I don't know why, because I feel like I like to separate sleep. Like, this is good, apparently, based off this study. I like to separate sleep versus, like, place where I, like, want to entertain myself. I have the basement with the 75 inch. I got the family room with the 65 inch. I have plenty cool. of places to be entertained. Cool. <laughs> well deserved <laughs> pools. Um, if I need to entertain myself in the bedroom, there's other things. Oh, wow. Hey. Oh, wow. <laughs> you just winked at me. I didn't, wi- I didn't <laughs> wink at you. Did I wink at you? That's Did disturbing. I just you? <laughs> what are you trying to insinuate with me? I had no, in- no interest here, buddy. I'm coming over. <laughs> Oh, yeah, the new chief I mean, love officer yeah, of Big Comer Brand. I don't want the dog to kiss my face. Mm. <laughs> uh, this is an F for me. I, I'm, I'm a high maintenance sleeper. I need it cold. I need it dark. I need it quiet, and that includes a TV. Brad Can't have it on volume. With the mask on. I, I mean, hey, if, if it's too light, give me a mask. I need it as dark as can be. Um, but, I, but I will watch TV in bed. I will watch TV in bed. I have no problem doing that. But when it's time to go to sleep, whoop, everything dark. Quiet, cold, got to have it. Yeah, I, I watch TV when I go to bed. Like, that is the best way for me to do it. If I don't have the TV on, my mind will spin, or I'll probably be on my phone doing something. I constantly need to have my brain being stimulated. And it's a sense of calming having that TV in the background and falling asleep to it. Actually, I could not find my remote last night, so I could not put my TV on a timer. And so I fell asleep with you the TV on You put a TV on, on a timer, so, Phil? So it, go, so, wow. it, so it shuts off at some point. You're a grandpa. Uh, electric bill. Electric <laughs> bill, and then also I like for the TV to go electric over. Electric bill. Oh, electric oh, bill. Hey, no. Turn, you are the... Turn, I don't know. That's who's ridiculous. Like, I honestly don't know who's cheaper. You were grabbing. Turn stuff off. <laughs> I, was, I was trained to do that. Turn stuff off. And, so why would I, and, and on top of that, I don't want the TV on the entire night. Last night, I did have the TV on the entire night because I didn't have the, I couldn't find the remote. Couldn't find the remote, so I had it on. But yeah, I uh, I watch TV to go to bed. It helps. Uh, that's it for the KBN Academy. <laughs> You guys are fascinating people. I guess I am too, but you guys have really opened up my eyes to some, some new perspectives in my life of energy savings from keeping the TV on in the middle of the night. <laughs> That's what you're, you're supposed Making to Making turn- your uh, now wife, then girlfriend who moved to Charlotte share a car in Charlotte when you were playing That's the right. NFL. Instead of, instead yes, of, y'all are crazy. Instead of chastising <laughs> us, you should be taking notes. You got a baby girl now. Money ain't going to just be... You know, I know you love going to Pato, but you're going to have to go to Pato just a, a smidge less. <laughs> just a smidge less only because some of that, you know. Okay, you, to- you know what you've been doing a little too much? Telling people what to do. Who? Telling people how to act. You started earlier. Listen, listen, listen. Now you're telling me what to listen, do with my money nigga. and my time? Okay, now I want you to come All right, here Mr. About- $40 suit. Uh, you no, know, no, my suit Raggedy. was $80 on, uh, $80 on sale. I will send Chris a picture. I look Nothing handsome. like an $80 suit I on look, sale. I look handsome. It's a Kenneth Cole suit. I look good. Kenneth? Kenneth. Cole suit. You're amazing. 800-990-3776. 800-990-ESPN. We put the poll up. I do want to revisit that. Chris, uh, in the break, if you could as well, I'd love that audio of uh, of the punchline of who David Bakhtiari is from uh, our guy in Wanakee. Uh, we love good takes, we love bad takes, and we also love the worst takes. More next. You're listening to Kyle, Brust, and Nortman. Hey, Russell, this is Brad. Awesome. <laughs> 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 
I had nothing before Yo, then. So hey, I had nothing before then. Hey, Russell, what's this? Hey, hey, Russ, what up, Russ? Awesome. Yeah. And I'm going to read this word for word. Yeah, all right. Right. Let's, all right. Let's give him the floor. I'm going right. to Yeah, laugh. don't interrupt, dang it. On ESPN Wisconsin and WisconsinOnDemand.com. You, Ra, Ra. Hello, Windows and Doors of Wisconsin present your Badger Minute. Here's Alex Strofe. Varsity on Wisconsin On Demand is home to all the latest and best Badgers content on ESPN Wisconsin. Subscribe on Apple, Spotify, Wisconsin On Demand, and wherever you get your podcasts. The Wisconsin Badgers men's basketball team closed the Kohl's Center chapter of the 2023-24 season Thursday night with a win over Rutgers. Despite just a two-point lead at half, Wisconsin won 78-66. Head coach Greg Gard on the win. Obviously in the second half, I thought we were much better. Obviously defensively, you know, we just were able to, to do a lot of good things and, and play in transition, which this group is good at when they get going. The Badgers wrap up their regular season Sunday visiting number three Purdue. Tip is set for 11:30 on Fox. Get no interest for up to three years at Pella Windows and Doors of Wisconsin. Don't wait. You have to order by March 31st. Visit PellaWI.com. Did you know one of the best investments you can make? It's in yourself. At My Computer Career, in just a few months, you could start your new career in the high-demand, recession-resistant field of information technology. Isn't it time you invest in you and start a career in networking, cybersecurity, AI, or upskill to boost your current IT career? So, get the ROI you deserve at My Computer Career. No experience necessary. Start now at mycomputercareer.edu. Financial aid is available for qualified students, including the GI Bill. To thank you for 40 unforgettable years, Dell Technologies is celebrating with anniversary savings on their most popular tech. For a limited time only, save on select next-gen PCs like the XPS 13 Plus, powered by Intel Core processors and more. Plus, curate your dream setup with great deals on select monitors, mice, and more must-have electronics and accessories. When you shop online at dell.com slash deals, you'll have access to leading-edge technology and free shipping on everything. Again, that's dell.com slash deals. Condon Jewelers, Condon Jewelers, the jeweler on the east side, the jeweler on your side. When you see Diamond Jim, you can count on him to be on your side. Selection beyond compare, with on-site repair, so you can wear your jewelry with pride. Condon Jewelers, Condon Jewelers, the jeweler on the east side, the jeweler on your side. Join the Madison Money Guy, Christian Finfrock, for Retirement Income Strategies, Saturday and Sunday mornings at 7. Get the information you need as you plan for retirement. That's Retirement Income Strategies, Saturday and Sunday mornings at 7. Investment advisory services offer the Retirement Income Strategies, an SEC-registered investment advisor. Join Prairie Athletic Club and spring forward your membership today. Hi, this is Sarah Tauscher, encouraging you to save now until the end of August when you join the pack. The Platinum membership is everything you want and more, including Pilates, hot yoga, bar, unlimited training zone, and boot camp classes discover the ultimate wellness experience tailored just for you not a member not a problem guests are welcome daily head to prairieathletic.com or stop in today for all their membership specials prairie athletic club family fun community hey hungry and your heart is ticking for chicken well take a quick turn and a quick trip because we got no ordinary chicken yeah go wild with wings next level super wings with trusty sidekick and sauces or let's talk tender quick chick tenders love me tenders mm, love me some quick tenders ours are bigger better tastier or if you're feeling good old school comfort fried chicken we got it hand breaded down homier than anywhere quick trip saving your nuggets from ordinary for official rules and more information about every contest on 100.5 ESPN, visit ESPNWisconsinContest.com. That's ESPNWisconsinContest.com. You're listening to 100.5 ESPN and the ESPN app. This is Kyle Bruston Nortman, KBN, on ESPN Wisconsin and WisconsinOnDemand.com. You're listening to 100.5 ESPN, the ESPN app, and Wisconsin On Demand. I am in popping bottles, putting super. Is this you, Brad? How about it, boys? What do you think? Hey, I like Brad. I got my swagger back. <laughs> Brad Norton picked the bump back song. 
Am I next? No. What the? I will say, I will say, I understand why Kyle wants to do this so often because it feels really good, actually. When you pick a right song and it comes in and it hits, whew, that feels pretty good. It does. Yeah, well, again, you're starting to be kind of rude, like to the point of like, you know, I like having fun and I, I get picked on, but you're starting to be rude. Well, I, I said no. Hi, wait a minute. Time out. I just want to, I want for the record, I picked the song the last time and I had a good time. Hey, Kyle. You only get to pick during the 4 o'clock hour, but I'm the one being real. I'm the mean one. So when I say I don't want to hear your music after you say you don't want to hear my music until after 4. Yeah, but you've been you've been taking over all the time, though. Like, you don't even ask, like, hey, like, do you want to pick, pick a song here? Like, just like, it's Kyle's world. <laughs> talk about self-awareness and, and when we're talking about road trips and uh, not thinking mm -hmm. about I've others. I've been in this business long enough to know when it comes to bump back music, Hosting producers, if nobody is suggesting anything, a producer is just trying to find some music to bump back with. I am actually helping Chris. Chris, you can let him know. Am I not helping you when it comes to just like, hey, here's a song I don't have to think about? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Doesn't mean it's good. I didn't say it was good. You're making he, Chris's job easier, but it doesn't mean it's good for everybody. Oh, well, everybody. it seems mm. to me that when the bump back music that I choose, people like. Like, I got my boy Brad saying, ski ye ski ye ski ye Thank you. I still got it. Sure I really got my swagger back. Oh, gosh. <laughs> that, was, that was fun. That was a fun segment when you taught me how to do that. Uh, I still don't quite get it, but that's hey, I like how it that. sounds. I, I love hearing back. Brad saying, I got, <laughs> Ski, I got my swagger back. Uh, you got so my cool swagger that. back. We have yeah. one of the worst uh, takes in the history of calls on ESPN Wisconsin. Our guy in Wanakee. This is the comparison between David Bakhtiari and who? Bacciari is Tony Madridge 2.0. Oh, oh what? What? No. wow. Wait, I, mean, I mean, we did jump on him pretty fast there. <laughs> it was, Well, he should be jumped on pretty fast. Like that. That, was a, that was a terrible take. There was no comparison whatsoever. I don't know what Tony Mandridge ended up being, but what I do know, he ain't never been in the same stratosphere or atmosphere in the talent-wise of David Bakhtiari. That's disrespectful to my boy d -Bock, and I won't allow it here on KBN. Uh, right Literally now, the sorry, only... Brad, right now it's 74% it's the worst take ever. 26% uh, say that it's not. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm shocked it's not more. I thought we were going to get 90 95%. The only comparison is that with Tony Mandarich, they could have gotten all these other Hall of Famers, and maybe with David Bakhtiari, you would have had the cap to do other things. But that's it. That's where it ends. Like, they are not the same player at all. David Bakhtiari was an all-pro. If he would have just kept on doing what he was doing, he was on his way to a Hall of Fame career. He just got injured. Way different than a guy that just can't play. 800-990-3776. Now, we've been planning to do this all week long. Kyle Wallace finally did something for the crew other than pick music uh, for the breaks, and he had an idea. We're going to give away some end-of-season awards. The league year starts next Wednesday. Uh, the tampering free agency, uh, tampering and free agency, believes I believe, begins on Monday. So it feels like a very good day to cap off the end-of-season awards for the 2023 Green Bay Packers. So stay tuned here because we got the MVP, Offensive Player of the Year, Defensive Player of the Year, and a whole lot more stockholder that you're, you're keeping stock, you're selling because it's falling off. We want you to jump in as well if you disagree or agree with ours. We want KBN Nation to chime in, 800-990-3776 on YouTube, at ESPN Madison or at ESPN Milwaukee. But before we ring in the new season, we pour one out and cheers to what was with Brad's Carpless. That's right. I mean, as I'm thinking about the Packer season last year, or I'm celebrating what is to come coming forward, you know what I got in my hand? And that's a carbless. That's because a carbless, it's my favorite go-to adult beverage. When I'm looking to just kick back and relax a little bit. I will say one benefit. I wish I was in the studio with the boys, but one benefit from doing the show from home, I am that much closer to walking right down the steps of the Norman house and cracking open my carbless because my fridge is full of them. That's because it has everything I want. 
want. The flavor, that first sip, man, it just hits right every time. Raspberry, cranberry, pineapple, and lemon lime when it comes to the fruit selections, or man, those classic cocktails, Paloma, Margarita, Moscow, Mule, and Mojito. It's like, it's like you're at a bar restaurant and they're making it right in front of you. That's how good it tastes, but it doesn't stop there. You guys know me with my, with my diet, my workout, that is utmost important to me. And Carbless, they have nothing to feel guilty about. No carbs, no sugar, no gluten, 100 calories per can, and less carbonation. Just the right amount for, ooh, that refreshing taste, but not much to give me that guilt or that bloated feeling. I want you to taste and see for yourself why Carbless is so good, why it's my only go-to drink, and why Liss is more. Find them online and at retailers near you. Coming up next in two minutes, the Kyle Brustin Nortman end of season awards for the Green Bay Packers. Don't go anywhere. Ben Brust here to tell you about the Princeton Club. I joined the Princeton Club because I was looking for a place I could invest in my health and the environment and the community I have felt has made it so easy for me to incorporate it into my everyday life. It doesn't matter where you're at in your fitness journey because they have something to offer everyone. It also goes beyond fitness. From the moment you walk in the club to the moment you walk out, there is a togetherness felt throughout the members and staff that keeps you going for your better tomorrow. Don't wait any longer and get started on your fitness journey today at PrincetonClub.net. That's PrincetonClub.net. Hey, this is Eric Name of The Athletic. You're listening to Madison's Home of the Bucks, 100.5 ESPN, WTLX Monona, Madison, a good karma brand radio station. Broadcasting live from the Everlight Solar Studio, this is your Metro Kia of Madison Sports Center. Good afternoon, Madison. My name is Riley Yauk, and this is your Sports Center update brought to you by Zimmer Honda's Prep Mania. Don't miss a Division II state semifinal Saturday as top seeded Stoughton plays back to back to back. State champion Pewaukee with a trip to state on the line. Coverage starts at 12.30 with tip-off at 1 on 100.5 ESPN and the free video stream on the ESPN Madison YouTube channel. The Milwaukee Bucks are back in action tonight in Los Angeles, California to take on the Lakers. They're looking to rebound from a resounding defeat of the hands of the Warriors that snapped their six-game win streak. Tip-off tonight is slated for 9 p.m. Central with pregame coverage beginning at 8.30 on Madison's exclusive home for Bucks basketball, 100.5 100.5 ESPN. And speaking of things that are back in action, former Badgers QB Russell Wilson had an exploratory meeting with the New York Giants yesterday, according to Adam Schefter, and is in Pittsburgh today to meet with the Steelers. See if the much maligned QB can find a deal soon. Then finally, in baseball, the Brewers have a split squad affair today with two different teams taking on the Oakland Las Vegas A's. The first game started about uh, 50 minutes ago with Brewers trail 2-0 in the bottom of the third. Second will get going around 8.05. Metro Kia of Madison, Madison's trusted Kia dealer. Stop into Metro Kia on the east side of Madison or MetroKiaOfMadison.com. Broadcasting live from the Everlight Solar Studios in Madison, this is Kyle Bruston nortman KBN. Presented by Bud Light on ESPN Wisconsin and WisconsinOnDemand.com. Time now for the KBN Packers Season End of Year Awards. The votes have been tallied. The guests have arrived. It's time for the KBN Green and Gold Season Recap. I'm Ben Brust, host and selector. Kyle Wallace, the brains behind this. Curious to see who he selects with that green and gold goggles that he wears every day. Brad Nortman, also with us as we are Kyle Brustin Nortman. And we want you to dissect what we give away here for the end of season awards for the Packers 2023 season. 800-990-3776. Or on YouTube, at ESPN Madison and at ESPN Milwaukee. Chris... Let's start off with the MVP. Unless you want to, you want to end with that. Yeah, end with the MVP. All right, let's go. Let's go yeah. backwards to the top then. 
We got first. The season's biggest disappointment. So I'll start here with the season's big disappointment. There were a couple guys that were up for this award this year, and this isn't a prestigious award. This is an award that nobody wants to receive, but just because you were a disappointment doesn't mean you don't have another chance to rebound. And for this year, fellas, the disappointment award that I'm giving out today would be for Christian Watson. And Christian Watson is the biggest disappointment for me this year is because there were so many high hopes, so many expectations. He was supposed to be the guy that took a step forward. For Mr. Watson! Pass. Yeah, he was going to be the number one receiver. But it, it, instead, instead, Christian Watson had a disappointing down year due to injury. So the biggest disappointment in the 2023 NFL season for the Green Bay Packers, this award goes to Mr. Christian Watson, and hopefully his father doesn't come from my neck. <laughs> Brad, you're not. Mr. Watson! Yeah, yeah, you know, this award isn't something that everybody wants. We all have, you know, blockbusters, and we all have, you know, box office busts. And for me, it's Quay Walker. You know, Quay Walker, I was mm. expecting a second-year bump forward. But guys, of the 11 stand-up linebackers that were drafted in 2022, Quay Walker was drafted first. He oh, finished no. last. He finished last in pro football focus grading. He had a lot of tackles, but they were all tackles at like yard five, yard eight. After long runs, he was never quite the playmaker. This is a heads up that hopefully he has a third year bump forward after a disappointing 2023 for Quay Walker. My biggest disappointment for the 2023 Green Bay Packers. I mean, it's lame, but it's true. It's Devontae Wyatt. Uh, it's, it's in the realm of... Uh, Look, you pick Quay Walker, Christian Watson, obviously a guy in the draft before. Uh, in this, is the same draft? That was this. Same draft we picked of these all guys. the guys in the same draft. Two first round picks and a glorified first round pick because it was like 34, I believe, 35, that is part of the Devontae Adams trade. Ultimately, I think this is a telltale sign that Goody, although he hit last year in the offense, this is why I'm really nervous about the top five, the five picks in the top 100 that they have. Because it comes to defense, I don't feel it. Devontae Wyatt, not enough consistency, not enough for a guy that was drafted in the first round. You need him to be peaking, not trying to become an everyday guy that makes a huge impact for your team. Devontae Wyatt is a disappointment. Breakthrough Player of the Year. The breakthrough player of the year for me, my nomination, it was, uh, I feel like this one was easy. I feel like this one was a guy that we already saw was tremendous. He went from somebody who I did not like to somebody who I'm cheering his name, and that was Mr. Jaden Reed himself. Clearly, Jaden Reed is a rising star in the NFL and put up great numbers this year for the Green Bay Packers. That is why I am honored to have the opportunity to name Jaden Reed as the bake breakthrough player of the year for the Green Bay Packers. Brad. Yeah, you know, I love giving out this award because it's somebody that was unknown and now they are a household name. And to me, the breakthrough player is Dontavian Wicks. Guys, I remember in the pre-show meeting one time, Kyle said, I really like this Dontavian Wicks. And I laughed at him. I laughed him out of the room. But Kyle Wallace gets the last laugh today because Dontavian Wicks, he's shifty. He's smooth. He was second in reception yards and he was uh, just a guy that had got a a special connection with Jordan Love, a fifth-round draft pick that's looking like a really good receiver. Breakthrough player of the year for me, Dontavian Wicks. My breakthrough player of the year. Looks like I'm a trenches guy. I'm Ben Bruss alongside Kyle Wallace, Brad Norton. This is KBN's Packers End of Season Awards before the league year starts next year. My breakthrough player of the year. Come on now. Zach Tom. Ooh, I like Similar it. situation, choice. right? You remember how good Elton Jenkins was for this team and how he could uh, play pretty much every position, was reliable? Well, in a year in which you lose David Bakhtiari week one, Zach Tom on the right side was everything you needed and more. Consistent. And we talk about that 49ers game. Did we hear Nick Bosa's name a ton? Or Joey. I always get the two confused, but you Joey get my point. Nick Bosa. Joey Nick Bosa. Whoever it was. <laughs> It was Zach Tom's world, and we never had to worry about that right side. Zach Tom is the breakthrough player for the Green Bay Packers. Not sexy, 
but Sexy deserves the award when they get the job done. The Stockholder of the Year. So the stockholder that I'm buying and the buy uh, that I'm buying in for me for this award, listen, fellas, Brad, you just talked about it. Dontavian Wicks is the stock that I am buy, 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 buy. He's in video right now. He's going to explode next year. He's going <laughs> to blow up. Everybody's going to be talking about Tay Wicks. And the reason why I say Tay Wicks is something that we all need to explore purchasing and we need to buy it is because we talk about who's going to be the number one. Tay Wicks has number one energy. He has three things going for him, fellas. He has the ability to run great routes. He has the ability to make big plays, but then also he has the hype around him. Whenever your head coach gives you the high praise, are saying, you, my friend, remind me of Devontae Adams when this comes to getting off the line in your route running. That is high praise, and Dontavian Wicks is ready to explode and burst on the scene. Buy low now, because next year, his stock is going to be super high. Uh, Brad, I'm going to go quick, because uh, I have okay. Tay Wicks, too, and I don't really feel like I need to say much more, because we're picking him for the same reasons. I, I know you had breakthrough, but in terms of buying low, he's still relatively unknown. And when you look at tweets across the NFL landscape and they show the Green Bay Packers wide receiving court, I see Christian Watson's face. I see Romeo Dobbs' face. And I see Jaden Reed's face. You know who they didn't have on the graphic? Tay Wicks. That's how I know he is a stockholder by low because they're still not talking about him. And he's going to skyrocket to the moon next year with Jay Love. Well, like you guys said, when it comes to this buying stock, you always want to buy low and sell high. You want to try to find the, the trends and the good companies and the good players before they ascend. And a guy for me, I like Tucker Craft. Now, he is tight end, too, behind Luke Musgrave, but I really like what Tucker Craft is. He has no problem throwing his head in there to make any block. He's physical. He can block. He can catch. He can stay on his feet, which, you know, Luke Musgrave, he does here and there. And he's got a couple of screws loose. I like that from a tight end. Everything about Tucker Craft feels like a Green Bay Packer who's just gritty and just loves to play football. Tucker Craft, big year next year. Right now, to uh, to recap, biggest disappointment, I had Devontae Wyatt, Kyle had Christian Watson, and Brad had Quay Walker. As it comes to the, who are you, who was the breakthrough player of the year? I had Zach Tom, you had Jaden Reed, I believe. Yes, sir. And Brad had Tay Wicks. Who we holding stock on for the future? Bye, bye, bye. Tay Wicks, Tay Wicks for me and Kyle, and you just heard the man, Tucker Craft. What we got next, Chris? The stockholder sell-off of the year. Uh, this one's easy. This one's so easy. Everybody should be selling this stock. This is I listen. I bought a bad stock in real life, and all I did. I never get it. I woke up like six o'clock in the morning. And I said, "I wonder how my stock's doing." And I saw that my stock was closing down. I said, "No!" I was literally on the toilet. You got delisted? Oh, I, well, it, they had to, they had to do a whole thing where they. Had to, they did a reverse split. A reverse, reverse split. split's that's, not good. That's not good. Oh, not good. No, not, that's it's bad. Not good. So I was on the toilet at 6 o'clock in the morning stressing out, having anxiety about my money that I lost. Oh, and I stressed wow. out about this guy as well. This is what we learned. Anders Carlson, Anderson Carlson, and I don't give a dang what his name is. I want to sell him. I want to give him a boot. And let this be a lesson. Do not let a special teams coach dictate what you're going to draft. We drafted a 25-year-old kicker who is trash. He so is, is this buy low, sell low? This is, yeah, well, I don't know. I, I mean, he got drafted. <laughs> Kickers don't get drafted. 33rd in extra points. His longest field goal of the year was 53 yards, which makes him 29th. And he was 29th in extra, extra point field goal percentage. That is terrible for a guy that got drafted. He is the worst pick in his class. He is the worst kicker of the rookie class. This was terrible. Sell him now. He's low as Ben said. Sell him while you can get out. If you have anything, give <laughs> one share. Just get rid of it. Um, Brad, go ahead. Yeah, you know, for the guy I'm choosing for this, he was once a stock market darling. He could do nothing but go up, 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 up. And I bought at the very top of the market. It's been nothing but down to the left since then. I'm, of course, talking about David Bakhtiari. I'm just keep on putting more and more money into him, expecting a turnaround, and it never happens. At some point, you just got to cut your losses and say, you know what, money's gone. I just got to sell this stock, though. David Bakhtiari had a great run. It's time to sell the stock. Yeah, see, for me, when it comes to selling the stock, right, like it sounds like you continue to invest. 
I'm trying to be a smart investor and cut my loss before I feel like I'm going to compile more losses. And that is the guy that you mentioned, Brad, and the biggest disappointment. It's Quay Walker. Mm. I want to I want to sell off now because I feel like despite the fact that Jeff Halfley's coming in and this defense is going from a 3-4 to a 4-3, they don't know if he's going to be in the mic. They don't know if he's going to play outside. Right? Like, that's bad, man. Like, even watching Quay, even hearing Brad talk about where Quay was in terms of efficiency compared to all the rest of the linebackers drafted in the same draft class, that's sell-off material to me. I love the excitement he brings when he's around the play, but he's not a finisher, and he has been a finisher. He's not, like, he shows flashes, doesn't have, like, the instinctual play that, I, like, I just, I, I just, I'm selling, right? I, everything, every time I want to get, like, you know what I mean? I'm still, I want to hold on. I want to hold on. I'm, I'm getting, I'm letting go. I, I, I'm, uh, listen, I'm not Brad. I didn't work in the field of finance, obviously, based off the fact that I bought a stock. Put a lot of money in that stock, reverse split. Give Quay cool. One more, give what? It's not cool. I'm poor. <laughs> give Quay one more chance give after Quay, you got reverse uh, yeah, reverse no, split. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Quay's cheap right now. I think our boy Jeff Halfley. He's we, not cheap. He's I, the leading tackler on the team. He's really like the first like round draft our pick. company brought in a new defensive coordinator to help rise all boats and all stocks. And so I'm <laughs> saying Quay Walker might be. Babe, watch out now. All right, well, we're going to take a break. We have three more KBN Packers end of the season awards to get to. We've done our biggest disappointment, the breakthrough player of the year, the stockholder that you believe in, and the stockholder sell-off uh, that you don't and just don't want to be like Kyle and end up with a reverse split in real life. We have the MVP, the offensive player of the year, and the defensive player of the year. All for you, KBN Nation, coming up next across ESPN Wisconsin. <laughs> This is Kyle Bruston Nortman, KBN. The fact that I, within a month and a half, would have an opportunity to have Sierra thinking about me? Oh, <laughs> my goodness. I, I, I signed up to be with y'all, but I will happily be with Sierra. All right, take it easy. Put it in the pants. Put it in the oh, pants. Stop it. Not that type of happy. On ESPN Wisconsin and WisconsinOnDemand.com. Ben Bruss here to tell you about Zimbrick European. They have Mercedes, Audi, Porsche, and certified pre-owns. But the best part is I've been working with them since 2018, and the evolution has been a two-door, a four-door, and now it's time for an SUV. My life has changed, and it's changed with Zimbrick European. Being a dad has made it really important to have the comfort and the safety that the SUV will bring me. Again, Zimbrick European off the belt line at Rimrock Road. Of course, I found the sexiest car on the lot. Check them out. You're probably being overwhelmed with information about semi-glutide, the game-changing FDA-approved weight loss treatment. Jim Rutledge here. I was like you. I didn't know what it was until I saw Dr. Nessa Rodriguez at Carbon World Health. He can walk you through the benefits. He can tell you if it's right for you, and then you could come up with a plan to change your life with a workout plan and semi-glutide. With that plan, I dropped 20% body fat to 10% body fat, and I dropped over 20 pounds of fat and kept my muscle. You can do the same thing. Go see Dr. Nessa Rodriguez at Carbon World Health. Whether you're an artist playing accountant, a barista trying to be a bean counter, or a student just looking to get started, the UW Credit Union app lets you be free to be you with free credit scores, free online bill pay, and the ability to send money to friends. Because with fewer fees, you can do more of what you love. UW Credit Union, here for every you. Join today at uwcu.org. Federally insured by NCUA. Hey, Drew Scott here, and I'm Jonathan Scott, reminding you that life's better with a home policy from American Family Insurance. They can help you get just the right protection at just the right price and help you save when you bundle home and auto. Kind of like Goldilocks and the Three Bears. It'll be just right for you. We love a custom build. American Family Insurance. Insure carefully. Dream fearlessly. Get a quote and find an agent at AmFam.com. Products not available in every state. Visit AmFam.com to learn how discounts may apply to you. American Family Mutual Insurance Company, S.I. and its operating company, 6000 American Parkway, Madison, Wisconsin. Our kids deserve the best we can give them. Hi, this is Sarah Tauscher. If you're looking for somewhere that kids can learn, play, and enjoy family fun all at once, then register today in one of the spring youth programs at the Prairie Athletic Club with six basketball basketball courts, a full-size indoor soccer field, and swim lessons at one of the five indoor pools, they've got it all. Join today or visit as a guest and discover why the pack is consistently voted the best place to work out and best thing for kids to do year after year. Visit prairieathletic.com. Prairie Athletic Club, family fun community. The pulse of the Milwaukee Bucks. 
straight from a Bucks legend. Can't get it off. Marcus Johnson will, though. You can't leave him alone for a 12 Tap into Here District with Marcus Johnson on Bucks Plus. Marcus and his son Chris offer a weekly beat on Bucks basketball. Get your questions answered and hear from the biggest names in basketball. Find Here District with Marcus Johnson at Bucks.com slash plus on the Bucks app or wherever you get your podcasts. When it comes to security for your home and family, you want a winner, and we found one when we placed our trust with j k Security Solutions. This is Greg Gard. Kim and Jeff hit the game-winning shot for us with the Control 4 Home Technology System. Home or away, from our smartphones, we can open the garage door, dim the lights, turn on the TV, as well as arm the security system. That's convenience as well as peace of mind. Let j k Security Solutions do for your home or business like they've done for us. Call 255-5799 or online at jksecurity.com. Time to start thinking about a summer job? Jesse Nelson here, and Madison School and Community Recreation is now hiring for many positions, including day camp and youth program leaders, outdoor adventure staff, support staff for individuals with disabilities, sports instructors and officials, and more. Full and part-time positions with daytime and evening hours are available. No matter your interest, schedule, or location, there's a position for everyone. At MSCR, you can make an immediate impact in the community and gain meaningful experience. Start your summer adventure today. Apply at MSCR.org. This is Kyle, Brust, and Nortman, sponsored by Bud Light on ESPN Wisconsin and Wisconsin On Demand. A Ben Brust special coming back here. I love a good saxophone. Now, let it hit the beat now. Turn it up now, Chris. Dancing in a... Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm just a saxophone guy. Are you a sax guy? No, I, I like sax songs. I'll, I'll, let me find, think of a song with a saxophone that you Old like. thing back, our our intro to the opening of the show at 2P is got the saxophone, and it's got yeah. the Biggie Smalls and all that with it. It's a, the lyrics. Elite saxophone. Elite saxophone. Now, the lyrics are, woof. Man, you listen to those things. You're like, wow. Oh, wow. They're saying some things there. Oh, wow. But this is Kyle Brustin Norman across ESPN, Wisconsin, 800 990 3776, giving away our KBN Packers end of season awards. And you can give us feedback, 800 990 3776, or like I see you are as well on YouTube, at ESPN Milwaukee and at ESPN Madison. Chris, let's get that music back going. The votes have been tallied. The guests have arrived. It's time for the KBN Green and Gold Season Recap. And to recap what we did last segment, we had the Breakthrough Player of the Year. I had Zach Tom, Kyle Wallace with Jaden Reed, and Brad Nortman. Help me. Who he had? Yeah, where's he at? Where's your, what's your breakthrough? <laughs> is your mic muted? <laughs> he did. His mic is muted. He's up. Oh, it is. Yeah. Hey, no, I didn't know he that was Quay pausing Walker. for a fact. Quay Walker. Uh, Quay Walker. Quay Walker. <laughs> was your breakthrough? No, disappointment. Yeah, I started yeah, with breakthrough. Zach breakthrough Tom. Dave, Dave, Why are we changing it up? Yeah, Wix for breakthrough. This is already off to a great start. <laughs> <laughs> You know, let's just get to the MVP in offensive and defensive. And, Chris, if you have them all, just tell me and I'll toss it to you. Offensive Player of the Year. Offensive Player of the Year. Now, here's the thing about my Offensive Player of the Year. Is that I feel like the Packers didn't have a lot of options for Offensive Player of the Year. And I think that there was a guy that shined the most. This guy went from a fourth-round pick to our brand-new D-Bock. He is the staple. Yes, I said the staple for this team. Oh, wow. And he is the best in most consistent offensive lineman that we have. Everyone on that offensive line had to catch up to him. And this is not a traditional thing when you think offensive MVP. I think that's indicative of the weapons that are still developing on this offense in the injury of Aaron Jones. But for me, the offensive MVP is the guy that was the breakthrough player of the year for you. Mr. Bruss, and you said it so well. Zach Tom mm -hmm. is the offensive MVP. Simply, I'm not going to argue it. Simply because 
Nick Joey Bosa was absolutely shut down. We did not have to worry about Jordan Love running for his life when he was in that game. And also, think about this. When he went out in that game with a concussion, all of a sudden, Yash Nyman came in, all of a sudden, Mr. Bosa was able to get pressure. He is a staple of that offensive line, a strong part of that offensive line, and he is solidified for this team, and he helps Jordan Love live easy back there. So, Mr. Zach Tom, congratulations on being the offensive MVP for the Green Bay Packers this year. Brad, your offensive player of the year, Pink Eye. My off, my offensive player of the year, we're going to keep this theme going with a breakthrough nominee also getting this award, is Jaden Reed. Jaden Reed, for me, he led the team with eight receptions and touchdowns, which was much more than anybody else. He also had, he was also second in rushing TDs, and he um, led the league or led the team in rush yards per attempt. So whether you're throwing to him, whether he's running the ball, even with those jet sweeps, he was available, he was reliable, he was always playmaking. I feel like he is actually the receiver that is the most um, tenacious, aggressive, most natural receiver. He was he was creating nightmares when I was a Wisconsin Badger fan with him at Michigan State. Now he's in my dr happy dreams. He's a Green Bay Packer. Jaden Reed, dreams, Offensive eh? Player of the Year. <laughs> happy dreams. You know, Jaden Reed's in them. <laughs> fill, fill in the blank. <laughs> Jaden Reed, Offensive Player of the Year. I also am with, obviously, Brad, because I already had Zach hey. Tom earlier as my Breakthrough Player of the Year. I have Jaden Reed as well. He led him in receiving yards, uh, over 100 yards, rushing 10.8 yards per carry. You mentioned the uh, receiving and rushing touchdowns, the dual threat that he was. And I think with him as that consistent piece and as that dual threat, Debo Samuel type player obviously they're not the same Debo is in a category of his own but the threat for the offense for him in motion they can give him the ball he can go make plays and I like the tenacious word that you had for Jaden Reed he is a go-getter he what goes like I just remember one of uh one of the throws as early in the season when Jordan Love was under throwing a lot more Jaden Reed was one that would go back and make the catch where Christian Watson would just blunder Jaden Reed has great ball skills uh, 900 plus total yards of receiving and rushing. He is my offensive player of the year. Defensive player of the year. Can we be honest with each other? This was the hardest one. This was easy so for hard. Me. This one was so hard. This was easy for me because listen, we talk about Jair Alexander. We talk about Rashawn Gary. We talk about Kenny Clark. Yes, those guys have the big name. They're supposed to be the stars on the defense. And yes, they do make plays. But making plays in bursts is not the same as consistently making plays, consistently being re reliable. And there is one player on this team, and that name, his name on this defense is Preston Smith, who made big plays over and over. 52 total pressures, 34 stops. His presence on the field was always felt by other teams, and he made a tremendous impact. The Packers understand, though, he is getting older. He restructured his contract because he know, they know he is a big piece of this team. So congratulations to Mr. <laughs> Preston Smith on being the defensive MVP. Do you know how sad it Green is that like... Hey, and he, he even held Devontae. He was on... <laughs> Cole Keith was on Devontae Adams. That's how... <laughs> you know, you're he right. Is. You're right. He, he, was, was, oh, he no. was cornerback one. He was cornerback one for a couple of plays. <laughs> That's how year. good he is. Is that you can oh. throw him anywhere. He's going to make plays. Go ahead, Brad. Yeah. I, I mean, this one's a struggle. I agree with Ben on this one. This There was not a lot of good nominees in this category. I really tried to, to figure out who could actually get, earn this award. And I landed on Rashawn Gary. And they, they, they showed their love for him by giving him an extension during the season. When it comes down to it, he led the team in sacks with nine. He had two forced fumbles, two fumble recoveries, and he had the most quarterback hits throughout the season. So even when he wasn't getting to the quarterback fully, he's making the quarterback uncomfortable. I would love to see more consistency out of Rashawn Gary, but when Rashawn Gary has a full tank of gas and he is having one of those games, dude's unstoppable. I mean, he just gets it in chunks. If you can just put it together, He's going to be not only Defensive Player of the Year for the Packers, maybe for the league. Rashawn Gary, though, for the Packers for now. I hate this one. Absolutely hate this one. Because I had Rashawn Gary. I heard him. I heard you talk about Preston Smith. Eight sacks. A lot of pressure. And then I think about Kenny Clark. And, like, what comes to mind for all three of the guys, 
And what comes to mind for this entire defense is no single player on the defense put together 17 games of, like, good, solid, consistent play. I want to give it to nobody. Oh, wow. I'm going Whoa. to give it to nobody. Oh, nobody. So nobody got enough points to get uh No. We left your ballot wow. blank. Rashawn year. Gary, after extension, wasn't great. Too inconsistent. Needed him down the stretch to make big plays. That's why you signed somebody like that. Didn't do it. Preston Smith, consistent, solid, but, like, not as consistent and solid as a Preston Smith of four years ago that would deserve this award. He played and well this year. He played well. You literally talked about how they had to restructure. Like, like it's, it's kind of sad when I'll you say, had to say that I'll, out loud. I'll say this. As you guys are saying, it was very disappointing, and it was glaring that the Green Bay Packers do not have a difference maker on defense, and this is what's going to hold them back from getting to their ultimate goal. You need to find the difference maker. So next year when we have our awards for next year, we actually have a clear-cut favorite. In and it's been a consistent theme on Kyle Bruss and Norman talking about the field tilter. There's got to be a field tilter if this team's going to win a Super Bowl. Last but not least, I think we all know the answer to this one. Most valuable player. I'm not going to take up all the time talking about him because everybody's going to give it to him. <laughs> and so I just want to say congratulations to Mr. Jordan Love. I love how you say it. I just want to say congratulations to <laughs> every, every single now, one. Because you have to <laughs> congratulate people on getting their award. That's what I have to do. Congratulations to Mr. Jordan Love for stepping up and having to come into a situation where you're replacing one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. Maybe the greatest quarterback to ever put on a Green Bay Packer jersey. And you did not back down from that challenge. You rose up like the phoenix from the ashes and you showed everybody what Mr. Love is all about and the Packers are going to have another 14, 15, 16 years of great quarterback play. Thank you, Jordan Love, and congratulations on being named the KBN Most Valuable Player. Yeah, I'm going to continue on and echo what Kyle said. Look, I couldn't be more impressed with Jordan Love throughout the year. I'm actually happy he wasn't an initial box office success. So that way we could see the way he handles adversity, how he responds to other guys, how he responds to failure. And even that he did with success and with class. So when the second half of the season, everything on the field switched on and he was, make no mistake, second half of the season, the best quarterback in the entire NFL, we know we got something special in Jordan Love. This one was a clear, easy, definitive vote for Jordan Love to be the team's MVP. I couldn't be more excited for the Packers' future going forward at quarterback one. 157.3. The passer rating against the Cowboys is the only seven seed to win in Super Wild Card Weekend. Two and five, the record of the Green Bay Packers when everyone gave up on Jordan Love. Uh, what else could I say that he did? I mean, took the led the team as the youngest team in the NFL to the playoffs, replaced the legend in one year, and made the playoffs. And mm -hmm. I mean, like, papers are thrown. Unbelievable. MVP, Jordan Love. Well done, everybody. Well done. If you disagree or agree with anything that we have said on YouTube or 800-990-3776. We'll recap our awards. Brad Nortman's got some great stories to say and to share around free agency and draft picks and what that means for a locker room. Because that's what we're going to be facing here real soon when the new league year starts in the NFL. Come next week, we hear from Brad Nortman, not just because it's not Wednesday, but because it's Brad's time to shine. That was a horrible tease. See you later. <laughs> You're listening to Kyle Bruston Nortman, KBN. And I said, it just came out. I said, are y'all going to talk the whole show like this? <laughs> <laughs> Good. Good for you. you. Have to. For the next 25 minutes, all they said was they started ribbing me. Oh, you going to clap like that the whole time? You going to laugh like that the whole time? <laughs> no. You going to laugh like that the whole time? Why don't y'all go sit over in them open seats? On ESPN Wisconsin and WisconsinOnDemand.com. Mark Tosher here for Chalmers Jewelers. I've been a big fan of Scott and Garrett and the whole team at Chalmers Jewelers for years now. I go there, my friends go there, and most importantly, my wife loves it whenever I get her something from Chalmers Jewelers. What's right around the corner? Mother's Day. Show some love to the incredible women in your life and stop at Chalmers Jewelers. The place to go for that perfect gift. I recommend Chalmers Jewelers in Middleton and Madison. Chalmers Jewelers in Middleton and Madison.
Make it a real Mad March with a playoff payout at Potawatomi. Every week, you could score your share of 100 grand in cash and free play. Play this March for drawing entries. Win each Thursday. Plus, the prizes refresh every week for even more winners. The playoff payout at Potawatomi, Milwaukee. It's anyone's game. For more details, visit PaysBig.com slash payout. Must be 21 and a club member to play. Breaking news on ESPN Madison is presented by Metro Kia of Madison, Madison's trusted Kia dealer. Stop into Metro Kia on the east side of Madison or visit MetroKiaOfMadison.com. Madison athletes seeking elite training need to get started today at Total Athlete Performance. TAP is here to serve and educate the serious athlete with their speed, agility, and semi-private training options. Sessions are now available in both Windsor and their TAP facility inside the Verona Athletic Center. Also access remote training anytime, anywhere with the Total Athlete Performance app. Visit TAPWisconsin.com for subscriptions, including monthly payment options. That's TAPWisconsin.com. Good Karma Brands is proud to be an equal opportunity employer. Our policy is to provide equal opportunity employment, development, and advancement to all current and potential teammates. If you are an organization that maintains a job bank, provides employment information, or gives job referrals, you may request to be placed on the station's mailing list for future career opportunities. To learn more about careers at Good Karma Brands, please email careers at goodkarmabrands.com. When it comes to security for your home and family, you want a winner, and we found one when we placed our trust with J&K Security Solutions. This is Greg Gard. Kim and Jeff hit the game-winning shot for us with the Control 4 Home Technology System. Home or away, from our smartphones, we can open the garage door, dim the lights, turn on the TV, as well as arm the security system. That's convenience as well as peace of mind. Let J&K Security Solutions do for your home or business like they've done for us. Call 255-5799 or online at jksecurity.com. Stoughton Health, in collaboration with patient and family advisors, seeks to advance the healthcare experience at Stoughton Health by providing a forum for past patients and families to provide feedback on a variety of healthcare and other related topics. Advisors offer constructive feedback on their personal journey at Stoughton Health, helping to elevate the patient experience and increase satisfaction. Interested? Please call Amy at 608-873-2308. Since 1956, Holman Lindsay Paints has been making paint in Wisconsin for Wisconsin. Because of their commitment to making great paint for Wisconsinites, Holman Lindsay has grown over the years to 26 locations in this great state. Headquarters in Sun Prairie with a state-of-the-art facility, Holman Lindsay has the paints you need to make your job better. From do-it-yourself to professional, Holman Lindsay has paint for everyone. Visit one of their local locations today in Madison, Sun Prairie, Middleton, and Janesville. Join the Madison Money Guy, Christian Finfrock, for Retirement Income Strategies, Saturday and Sunday mornings at 7. Get the information you need as you plan for retirement. That's Retirement Income Strategies, Saturday and Sunday mornings at 7. Investment advisory services offer the Retirement Income Strategies and SEC Registered Investment Advisor. You're listening to Kyle Bruston Nortman on ESPN Wisconsin and WisconsinOnDemand.com. You're listening to 100.5 ESPN, the ESPN app, and Wisconsin On Demand. Gave you our MVP, our Offensive Player of the Year, all our Packer Award picks. But what I want you to do right now is I want you to have some more fun by making picks with Underdog Fantasy Sports app. Yes, you heard that right, Underdog Fantasy Sports app. I love playing with them because they have this cool pick them fantasy game, and here's how it works. You pick between two to five players from at least two different teams. Then you select higher or lower on those players' stats. And if your picks hit, just like my picks hit today, you can win up to 100 times your money. Yes, 100 times your moolah. It is that easy. So right now, I want you to download their easy-to-use mobile app or visit underdogfantasy.com and sign up using promo code KBN. Yes, 
promo code KBN, and guess what? They'll match your first deposit up to $100. You put 100 they put 100 and go have fun playing the Underdog Fantasy Sports app in Westwood also. They'll give you a mystery special pick to use on your first pick. It's Underdog Fantasy app or visit underdogfantasy.com. Must be 18 plus and present in the state where your Underdog Fantasy operates. Terms apply. Concerned with your play, call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit ncpgambling.org. Get in the game with the Underdog Fantasy Sports app. 800-990-3776 is the ESP Wisconsin Talk and Text Line. We are Kyle Brust and Nortman. I'm Ben Brust. Alongside Kyle Wallace, Brad at home with Pink Guy still, Chris Larson running the show. Uh, we just did our KBN end of season awards. You can catch all of our awards on Twitter at KBN ESPN. And you can vote because we put out voting options on polls for each of them. So you can vote for somebody we have or you can write in who you believe should be the award winner. Let's go to Jake in Milwaukee. Jake, welcome to Kyle Bruston Nortman. And he's gone. Man, you got stage fright. I literally heard the phone. Boop. Uh, 800 3776 Now, uh, I think Jake wanted to talk a little Jordan Love there. I see Carrington Valentine needs some love. Now, he didn't fit within the criteria for a couple of these. The only one that I considered Carrington Love for would have been, like, stockholder. Like, who am I holding stock for? But again, we're still talking about a small sample size and like, you know, not, like enough. A, not, <laughs> not enough because if Eric Stokes comes back healthy next year, you're probably That's a big Eric, if, though. It is a big if, but he had a whole year off, basically. And so if he comes back healthy next year, I think Eric Stokes is probably going to be uh, just a slightly above Carrington Valentine. So right now we had the end of season awards. Biggest disappointment, I had Devontae Wyatt. Kyle with Christian Watson, Brad with Quay Walker. Right now, Kyle winning the vote with a majority, 65%. On Christian Watson, breakthrough player of the year. This is where some of these will get interesting because Zach Tom is mine, Kyle Lewis is Jaden Reed, and Brad Nortman is Dante Wicks. Who the hell is Wicks. Kyle Lewis? It, so it says ESPN. Who is Kyle Lewis? Oh, wow. Who is Kyle Lewis? I ain't no baseball player. All right, all right, all right. It says ESPN, Kai Lou. So where do you see the I at? Where the is at? I don't see the is. You like, say Lou. Like Kai Lou. I think Kyle Lewis. It's <laughs> your first time doing it. No, this isn't the first time. Yeah, I, know. I do this all the time. Because I'm just reading it, and, and you should have picked a better Twitter name. It says ESPN Kyle W, but it looks like Kai Lou. So I'm going to say Kyle Lewis. Well, well, maybe. Should I have put an <laughs> underscore in there? Yeah, I mean, you could have done something to help your boy out. Uh, my fault, man. I'm sorry. I didn't no, it's not your fault. I'm just reading it, and, and this is what I'm seeing it as. My point is, is we also have Jaden Reed in another category. So he, Jaden Reed winning the vote, Zach Tom second, Dontavian Wicks third, but those two are close. Uh, stockholder of the year, Dontavian Wicks, we blow that one away. Uh, Tucker Craft, 25%, Dontavian Wicks, 70%. Stockholder sell-off. Um, yeah, I actually, I want to I wanna disqualify Brad Nortman for this one. Um, we had... Quay Walker, myself, Anders Carlson for Kyle W, <laughs> and Brad Nortman had David Bakhtiari. Like, Brad, come on. You're better than that. You, we, you knew what the activity was, and you picked a guy that we talked about earlier in the show that might be cut within any moment that we are on air. You're muted again. He'll get it together. He'll, he'll, he'll come up. Pink guy. Come on now. Bubble boy. Oh, man. Uh, Kyle, it's you and me. Offensive player of the year. I had Jaden Reed. You had Zach Tom. And then I win with Jaden Reed. Yeah, I mean, you know what I mean? Like, that, no, no, you, you and Brad, that, that was a good one. I wanted to think outside the box. And Jaden Reed, I mean. No, but I'm saying, like, I had Zach Tom for breakthrough. I actually think it was it's probably more. Don't you think breakthrough would probably be Zach Tom because it was only one? I guess they're both one year, man. No, Zach Tom, this is his second, second year. year. But I'm saying one year of full time. Yeah, like, I, I mean, here's the thing for me. I gave Zach Tom could be a breakthrough. He was on my list for potential breakthrough or Jaden Reed. I mean, when you look at this team, you look at this roster, those two guys were the clear-cut favorites. The clear oh, my gosh. What being oh, <laughs> what just okay. happened? Can you, guys, can you guys hear me now? Oh, that glass thing. <laughs> Oh, did your glass, the glass part it? fall on the glasses? Knocked it, knocked it out. <laughs> <laughs> on YouTube, Addy is from Milwaukee. I, went, I uh, blind for a second. <laughs> Kyle knocked I the glass see. out of the glass. You too. But anyway. You look, look like, you look like an old goes, man who can't find the glasses. his glasses. It, 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 yes. 
The glass fell through the glasses part. And so, oh, wow. So what I would say is this, though. Like I was getting, getting back on track, those two were obviously a cut above anybody else of rising to the occasion this year. So those two obviously were the big breakthrough players of the year for the Green Bay Packers. Uh, and defensive player of the year, I have nobody, which is in second place at 36%. Uh, Rashawn Gary was Brad at 38%, and Preston Smith at 17%. And obviously, the MVP, Jordan Love, 92% versus 8%. And all I want to say is those better be misclicks. Those better be misclicks. Yeah, I don't know who else could be possibly MVP besides Jordan Love. I mean, he just he put the team on his back in so many ways. I mean... I don't know. Right, I write in who else wouldn't be MVP. That's that, what I want to know. That's what we want to know as well. Religion Hamilton, they'll join us next for a little crosstalk. This is Kyle Bruston Nortman. You no, know, some of those things I say act like I think I'm something that I'm not. I mean, you can say finna. Say, listen, I'm finna do this show here from five to six. I'm finna do this show. <laughs> the, Homer, the Homer Hour is finna be lit from Fin five to. To six. No, I'll never, to use, be... I'll never say that again. It, it rolls, though, doesn't it? No, it, it doesn't. It's not me. On ESPN Wisconsin and WisconsinOnDemand.com. You. ra ra Fellow Windows and Doors of Wisconsin present your Badger Minute. Here's Alex Strofe. Varsity on Wisconsin On Demand is home to all the latest and best Badgers content on ESPN Wisconsin. Subscribe on Apple, Spotify, Wisconsin On Demand, and wherever you get your podcasts. The Wisconsin Badgers men's basketball team closed the Kohl's Center chapter of the 2023-24 season Thursday night with a win over Rutgers. Despite just a two-point lead at half, Wisconsin won 78-66. Head coach Greg Gard on the win. Obviously, in the second half, I thought we were much better. Obviously, defensively, you know, we just were able to, to do a lot of good things and, and play in transition, which this group is good at when they get going. The Badgers wrap up their regular season Sunday, visiting number three Purdue. Tip is set for 11:30 on Fox. Get no interest for up to three years at Pella Windows and Doors of Wisconsin. Don't wait. You have to order by March 31st. Visit PellaWI.com. Ben Brust here, and if you want a shot to win a trip for two to Vegas and 